oh my god, I packed a bunch of kale. I know, super, super crazy. Hail, Jeff Corso, Monty Boca. I'm here to put you on the path to amazing meals on your outdoor treks. If you're headed outside, I've got a great recipe for you. And we are here at the Tree of Life here in Claylock, part of the Olympic National Park, one of the absolute iconic parts of the Olympic National Park. But we are here to make kale and potato soup. Really fast, easy, and tasty recipe for you vegans, for you vegetarians, and I guess if you like meat, you could probably throw some meat to it. But just a few ingredients. So ingredient call-outs, we've got some kale, we've got a couple potatoes, a lemon, and a couple extra ingredients that I packed in my packing cube here. We've got a little bit of salt, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of Parmesan cheese. So we're gonna chop up a few of the ingredients, throw it in our chimney style stove here. Let's get cooking. So while this is boiling, this is actually one of the first ever Monte Boca recipes. I went out on a trip with one of my friends and I had her pack a bunch of kale, two potatoes. I brought the lemon, the cheese, and the olive oil. And we had an amazing dinner up in Washington. And that's how Monte Boca started with fast, easy recipes with fresh ingredients that you can cook anywhere. Kale is a surprisingly great backcountry ingredient. Why I say that is that it is extremely sturdy. This can last for four, five, even maybe six or seven days on the trail, depending on your, your trail conditions. But it gives you a little bit of freshness. It also gives you some nice micronutrients and vitamins that are sorely, sorely lacking from the package meals. So throw some kale in your pack. You can add it to your ramen, your soups, your stews, all that kind of stuff. So don't sleep on kale. So we're just coming up to a boil, just a few minutes. We are here at sea level, so it might take a few more minutes if you're at Alpine. But that kale's starting to break down. Potatoes are starting to, to cook as well. Man, you can really start to smell that garlic powder in there too. So the great part about this recipe is that we're just waiting for the potatoes to get done and then we can eat. So it's been about five minutes or so, maybe a little bit longer. And we've been at a nice simmer and our potatoes are hot, but they're nice and soft. So that's what we're looking for. And a quick little prep tip is chopping your potatoes smaller will let them cook a little bit faster. So we're gonna go ahead and turn off our heat here and we're gonna finish up our bowl. <laughs> the tough part about cooking on the beach is it seems like sand gets in just about everything. So we've got some beautiful broth, kale, potatoes. You can also use white beans in here too, or some chickpeas if you don't want to pack a potato, but you know, packing a potato in your pack is not that difficult. And I like mine with a little bit of Parmesan cheese, but if you're vegan, go ahead and just don't throw it in there. And I also love a little bit of nice olive oil on top. Give you a few extra calories too. Fresh squeeze of lemon. That looks beautiful. And then we get to have our beautiful bowl here at the Tree of Life. And man, those few things on the top, the little bit of Parmesan cheese, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of olive oil, really bring this together. Let's count together how many ingredients we've got. Kale, potatoes, lemon, salt, garlic powder, olive oil, Parmesan cheese, seven, maybe you could go with four. So really, really easy packing. Hmm. And today, we've got one of our recipe testers, Mom Jeans, behind the camera. Let's see how she likes it. Killer. 
super, super good. Super good. Get it. Try this kale and potato soup, kale and white bean soup, chickpeas. Throw some other veggies in there. Let me know what kind of veggie concoction you create. Boca Boca.